Sadhguru is many things to many people, guru, mystic, yogi, friend, consultant on all topics known and unknown, poet, architect, so many faces, so many dimensions. Jaggi Vasudev, also known as Sadhguru, was born in 1957 in the city of Mysore, now Mysuru, India. When he was 12 years old, he came in contact with a Swami who taught him a set of simple yoga postures or asanas, which he practiced regularly. In 1973, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in English literature. Jaggi likes to travel in various places throughout the country in his motorcycle. To finance his travels, he started several businesses, such as a poultry farm, brickworks, and a construction business, which were all successful. In one of his travels in Chamundi Hill in 1982, he claimed to have a spiritual experience. He then left his business to a friend, pursued meditation and travel for a year to gain insight about his experience. When he came back, he decided to teach yoga, which led to the founding of the Isha Foundation. Here are five life lessons by Sajuru. 1. Remember you are mortal. A significant thing every human being has to do is structure their psychological and emotional framework around the most fundamental fact of their life, their mortality. Right now, it takes a lifetime for people to understand that they are mortal. They need a heart attack or the appearance of a malignant lump somewhere to remind them. You are mortal, and it is ticking away. So there is no time for frustration, depression, anxiety, anger or for any unpleasantness in this life. You need to celebrate and enjoy every moment of your life, because life does not wait for you even for a moment. If you were immortal, you could enjoy a hundred years each of depression, anxiety, madness and misery, and then on the 500th anniversary, you could become joyful. But that is not the case. You are mortal, and it is ticking away. So there is no time for frustration, depression, anxiety, anger or for any unpleasantness in this life. In the ashram I always tell people, no matter what work you are doing, every day you must stick your fingers into the earth at least for an hour. This will build a natural physical memory, a bodily memory in you, that you are mortal. 2. There is intelligence and humility. The difference between a fool and an intelligent person is that an intelligent person knows how foolish he is, a fool does not. Noticing the stupidity of who you are is great intelligence. Anything in this existence, a tree, a blade of grass, a grain of sand, one single atom, do you understand any of these things fully? No. When this is your level of intelligence and perception, how should you walk in the world? Gently, with a little humility, respect and love for everything around you. If not love, then at least with awe, because you don't understand a damn thing in this world. If you just learn to walk like this, you will not escape a spiritual process. You don't need any teaching. It will happen to you anyway. This is why in the Eastern cultures, always, you bow down to whatever you see, whether it is a rock, an animal or a human being. Being in reverence towards the very earth that you walk upon, towards the air that you breathe, the water that you drink, the food that you eat, the people that you come in touch with, and everything else that you use, including your body and mind, is a way of ensuring success in every endeavor that we partake. 3. Kill the lies. Sidguru. Just spend a minute to identify at least one thing in your life that is not necessary and kill that today. When I say kill don't start thinking about your boss, mother-in-law or neighbor. You must kill something about you that is unnecessary for your life. Something like I will kill my anger would be too general, and this is not something that you can achieve by determination this requires consciousness. Decide on something that you can do and that you will do. This is how to transform your life by taking small steps. Identify something specific that you will be better off without, where you can take a concrete step today, it does not matter how small it is. If you want to move towards the truth of life, your investment in that which is not true has to be reduced. It may not all vanish immediately, but you must reduce it step by step. 4. Have a sense of humor. In a show, he told of a story that while telling a joke to an American audience, he referred to God as a him. Immediately, some women in the audience stood up and asked him if he really believed that God is a man. He explained that he was only telling a joke. He also commented that in India, they do not have this kind of problem, because they have a man god, a woman god, a cow god, an elephant god, and all sorts of gods. He explained that it is because it is a wise culture that foresaw the possible problems of gender. 5. There is no good and bad. Your inner world if you want to call it that should only be a reflection of what is around you. You look at one thing as good, something else as bad. You get attached to what you consider as good. You desperately try to avoid what you consider as bad, and of course, that will rule you from inside. This is not the way to be. Seeing everything just the way it is that is the way to be within. 
If you see something other than what is there, it means you are contaminating the world with your opinions and prejudices. Everything that you think is past, everything that you think will be future is right here. If you see everything the way it is, if the whole creation reflects within you, if you can contain creation the way it is within you, you become the very source of creation. That is the way to be, inside and outside. Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev as a mystic has become very famous and influential because of his insights. His ideas and talks are well received in many prominent international forums. He has been interviewed by many media companies and has also written several books including Inner Engineering, a bestseller. Success is something that is aspired by each and every one. But it is obvious that all of us cannot achieve it that easily. Success comes too easily to some, while some to pay a certain cost to have it. In some ways or other, our thinking affects this in a lot of ways. Thank you all.